In this video, I'm gonna make a mod 10 countdown using GK flip flop without yeah, using a preset input. Alright, so first to create a mod 10 countdown using GK flip flop, we must use at least four yeah four GK flip flop. Right? Yeah, so I will add here, add here here and then here yeah so the first one i will create the 16 countdown because it's the, the easiest we will count from uh, 15 to 0 and then we change to 15 and count down again right so to create it first we must set the clock signal into the falling edge right and of course we will set the jk for JK flip flop here into one. Yeah. So we will connect the JK input, the power, right? For JK flip flop. And next, we will connect the Q bar of the least significant bit into the more important significant bit sorry more significant bit all right and the least significant bit the clock of the least significant bit will connect with a clock so let's see what we have here yeah the countdown the 15 countdown gk flip flop right and remember, ah, I forgot, it is the most significant bit, and this is the least significant bit. So we will read from the right to left, yeah, to see the value, to determine the value, right? So let's see, when we talk about it twice, yeah, it will change the value, yeah, 1010. Zero, one, zero. Uh, it is the uh, uh, tail value, right? Tail value. Yeah. This tail value, sorry. This is nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero, and it will change to fifteen. So basically. This is the 15, yeah, it is 15 and it is 16 countdown to K flip flop. Yeah, next, yeah, we uh, need to change this value into 10, right? At the time, it changed from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1 immediately, right? So basically, at the time when uh, B, C, B, A, it change into uh, 1, we will um, change the C and B right, into 0 immediately because we just can only use the uh, clear input. So, yeah, first, we will um, connect it. With the end gate. And we will clear when A, B, C, D yeah, change into one, right? Yeah, and of course it will uh, lead to a problem. We must see after. Yeah, and after we talk about size, it will change to one zero zero one, and it's a nine value, right? Yeah. So basically, it's true, but we have more problem here. Right? It's the eight value, and when we talk about size, it will change to 1. So why? 
Remember? Yeah, I will see that when uh, this is the eighth value, right? One zero zero zero. When this value fails, this value toggle to one one, it will change to seven. Yeah, but this value at this time won't change immediately. It needs a really very short time called the propagation delay yeah, to change in zero. But before it changes to zero, right? It's one. So the end the end gate here will return one value, right? So it will change to this value here. And of course, after that, it will change to zero, and of course, the least significant bit is one. So when it change to uh, seven, it will not change to seven. Cruelly, it will change to one. So how can we avoid this situation? Yeah, remember when we change from zero 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 to one 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 one, right? The yeah, it will have a little different when we change from um, 1, 0, 0, 0 into uh, 1, 1, 1, and 0, right? So, to avoid it, yeah, first we just need to, um, right? When it change from four zero to one, we can detect it by this zero to one and this zero, one to zero. How to detect it? Remember, when they change, there is a short delay. So remember, the first value is zero, right? So um, we just uh, need to uh, change the two middle. JK flip flop at the situation only, and this is normal. We don't change anything. So to detect from zero to one, just remember this first value must be zero, and the second value is either change up that it will change to one. Yeah. So when it change to one 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 one, if it the last value is zero. So when Q is zero, Q bar is one, right? Q bar, Q zero here, Q bar is one. Yeah. And when it change, yeah, this value is one. After it changes to one, we must connect it with the end gate one more time. Yeah. So when Q change into 1, right, we can, right, we can add this, right, so let me explain this again, yeah, when, the first, when the 0, 0, 0, 0, it goes to 1, 1, 1, 1, right, the most significant bit will change from 0 to 1, and of course, when it's the Q is zero, Q bar is one, right? So Q bar is one, so it is one, 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 one. Of course, A, B, C, yeah, must be one. And D, D at this time will be uh, zero because it hasn't changed. Yes, A, B, C, D is already changed, right? I already changed, sorry. So when it changed into one, so Q will be 1 and of course Q bar is 0 but it is already returned the value so if it's changed to 0 it's late right and so at this gate it will um, it will take two input is 1 from the last value and Q is 1 from the present and Plus, it will, yeah, clear to to input here. So let's check again, right? Yeah, we will check it. 
yeah c zero 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 and it will change to one zero zero one right next one zero 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 next yeah zero one 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 yeah so basically we have made the right countdown but let's continue checking zero one zero zero right zero one true yes correct yeah one one three yeah two one zero nine eight seven six so basically we have done the uh more ten countdown using triplet flip flop and not using the uh preset input yeah so um i will leave the logistic file in the description below and if you have any question yeah just leave a comment in this video all right thanks for watching hope to see you next time bye